If you are a regular viewer of Simple Tutorial, as you know, I tried to cover video conversion and video editing features of any video converter in the previous video tutorial. You can learn how to use any video converter to convert DVD and general videos to other output formats, choose best any video converter settings, extract audio from a video and edit videos by watching the previous video tutorial. In today's video, I am going to teach you how to burn a DVD or CD using any video converter. As we all know, there are some differences between any video converter free and any video converter ultimate. DVD burner in any video converter ultimate has some additional facilities, for example, you can import a DVD disc, DVD folder and DVD ISO image file in any video converter ultimate. While you cannot do this in any video converter freeware version, there are 10 DVD menu templates at your disposal in any video converter ultimate. Except these, you will find no difference in DVD burner in any video converter ultimate. In DVD burner tool, you will find 4 buttons in any video converter free and 5 buttons in any video converter ultimate on top. In DVD burner tool of any video converter, add video button is designed to import a video or audio file to be burned. You can use add or drag file button for this purpose as well, that is located in the middle of any video converter. In any video converter ultimate, you will find an additional button to import a DVD disc, DVD folder and DVD ISO image file. As you know, Add URL button is designed to download videos from video sharing websites. But this button becomes 2-in-1 in, in DVD burner tool. First it downloads videos and then burn them to disk. From here, you can choose an output profile. These profiles are predefined and best settings, though, but you can customize them. If you are unsatisfied, burn now button to kick off the burning process. Now a bit about settings or configurations. In other words, we can say, it lets you customize predefined output profiles. As you can see, there are four settings tabs. DVD configurations tab is all about navigation and DVD menus. Here you can change background image, add a background music and set specific time duration for DVD menus. You have only a single DVD menu template in free version. While there are 10 DVD menu templates available to use in any video converter ultimate, in burner settings, you can choose which burning device to burn your DVD, if you have more than one DVD writers or an external DVD writer. Here you can also change or set write speed and video resolution etc. Using basic settings tab, you can set clip duration, an output folder and choose quality ranging from low to normal higher and fit to disk in order to reduce the disk size. Video options tab helps further to increase or reduce the disk size by playing with parameters, for example, bitrate, frame size etc. Audio options tab can be used to change audio codec and increase or decrease audio bitrate, audio sample rate to reduce the disk size or increase quality, as well as you can exclude audio completely by checking disable audio. In DVD burner in any video converter, you can also add subtitles, background music or audio and use built-in video editor to apply cool video effects, clip and merge, etc. I would like to suggest you watch the previous video tutorial on how to use any video converter to convert videos and use built-in video editor. I hope it's all been helpful for you to understand user interface of DVD burner in any video converter. Now everything is ready and you can press burn now button to kick off the DVD burning process.